Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you a way to set up basic networking on an emulated alpha with the OpenVMS student package installed. This tutorial assumes that you have downloaded and unpacked the student package, which you can find on our website at training.vmssoftware.com slash hobbyist. If you haven't, just go there and follow the instructions. You can download it using your command line or an FTP client like Valzilla. Also, you will need Windows 10, 64-bit, and two internet connections on your computer, at least one of which is Ethernet. I'm using Wi-Fi and Ethernet, where Wi-Fi will be used by the laptop, and Ethernet will be used by the emulator. Once you're done with that, let's go ahead and download the free XP Alpha emulator from Migration Specialties. Now, while it is built into the student package, right now it is missing an important component that prevents you from setting up networking. Hopefully, this will be fixed in the next version of the student package. Meanwhile, we will just make up for that by downloading the latest version of the emulator. It's free, lightweight, and um, takes little time. Do not start the application just yet. We have different plans. Now that the emulator is installed, let's install the student package. It tells us that it will uninstall the emulator, which is fine. Click OK here and proceed with the installation. Again, uncheck the Start the Application box. Now let's collect some information to help us set up the emulator. As you can see, I already have two DNS server addresses. I used OpenDNS, which is free. You can use whatever you want and even set up your own bind server if you like. You don't have to set up the bind resolver at all, except in this case, name resolution won't work. Let's do an IP config in the Windows terminal and find out the IP address for the connection that the emulator will use. Mine is called Ethernet Adapter Local Ethernet. And um, here's a note for all fellow users of alphabets other than English. If you see gibberish in your network adapter list in the virtual alpha configuration utility, that's because the names given by Windows in your alphabet are not encoded correctly. The solution is to rename the adapter that you will need in the English alphabet so that you are able to identify it later. I renamed it to Local Ethernet, hence this weird name, Ethernet Adapter Local Ethernet. The IP address for my adapter is 172.16.172.79 and the subnet mask is 24. Also note the default gateway, which in my case is my only router and the address is 172.16.172.1. That is all we need for basic configuration, the IP, the subnet mask and the default gateway. DNS server addresses are desirable but optional. Now that we have all the information, let's make sure the laptop cannot use the Ethernet connection that we want our emulator to use. Go to the adapter settings for your adapter and uncheck all of the checkboxes there. Click OK. If you were to run the IP config now, it wouldn't show you the information for this adapter, so make sure you get all of the information beforehand. So we're ready to start our alpha, launch the virtual alpha configuration utility, not the student package, because we will need to tweak our emulator settings a little bit. Create a new configuration file, go to the PCI 6 tab where the disks are specified. For disk 0.0, .0 which in OpenVMS will be DKA0, Choose the image file that the student package uses, which usually lands in your program files OpenVMS directory. Then go to the PCI 11 tab, which specifies the network adapter settings, and make sure that the type field says DE435 and the interface is the one that the emulator should use, in my case, the local Ethernet adapter. When that is all done, click Run and you will see the PuTTY window. I like to change my settings a little bit right away to make the font bigger and add some lines of scroll back.
When you see the SRM prompt, enter boot DK0, that directs the system to boot from DK0, which is disk 0, 0.0, that we have specified in the configuration utility. When you see the statistics, it's time to log in. In the default student package configuration, you can log in as system with no password. After you log in, run tcpip-config.com and choose to configure the core environment. First, let's configure our interface. Choose WE0 and add a primary address that you have prepared. Mind the net mask, I had to change mine. Then configure the default route, which in my case is the router 172.16.172.1. Then configure the DNS servers. And last but not least, start TCP IP services for OpenVMS. Once that is done, you can check connectivity. As you can see, it works for the DNS server IP, the default gateway IP, Google, vmssoftware.com, you get the idea. So this is a fairly foolproof way to set up networking on the student package. Feel free to download the free AXP manual from the Migration Specialties website and try different other ways. It may work over a single connection, over a bridge. It will probably not work with Wi-Fi. Thank you for watching. Let us know if you have questions down below. We'll try to answer them and stay tuned for new videos.